For more on the IMF's annual meeting, let's turn now to the man who said that, quote, the IMF is the only organization that can prevent total chaos in Europe. We're joined by Desmond Lachman, a former deputy director at the IMF. He's now a resident fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, and he joins us from Washington. Mr. Lachman, welcome to Bottom Line. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you for inviting me. Sir, the IMF's managing director, Christine Lagarde, sat down with my colleague Tom Keene today. She said, quote, what I can hope to achieve is a better diagnosis of the current situation. How does the IMF go about achieving that? What does Ms. Lagarde, what she called the roadmap on the path to recovery, what does that look like? Well, I think that when she talks about the global economy, she makes a bit of sense in that she's arguing for more stimulus, that the country should really address their bank problems. But I think where she is totally off the mark is in her misdiagnosis of the European situation. What she's doing is she's providing more of the same. She's not recognizing that countries like Greece have huge solvency problems and persisting with the same sort of fiscal austerity is only going to drive that economy deeper into the ground. It's only going to mm -hmm. cause huge amount of political tensions and it's really not right. going to work out in the end. They have to really be thinking uh, out of the box if they're wanting to try to address the European I, situation. Uh, Mr. Lachman, then, in your opinion, what should she and the IMF be doing at this point? Well, I think that what they should be doing is recognizing that countries like Greece and Portugal are insolvent, that they should be trying to orchestrate an orderly debt restructuring uh, rather than take an approach where one's in denial, one just lets it play out, and then one gets a disorderly uh, restructuring that's going to be hugely disruptive. One good thing that she is saying and that she's taking issue with the Europeans is she is indicating that the European banking system is short of something like 200 billion euro in capital mm -hmm. and that what they should be doing is taking advantage of the time that they're buying by propping up the periphery uh, to strengthen the banks to right. prepare for the contingency that we're going to get defaults through the region. Uh, Mr. Lachman, is there enough sense of urgency? Have IMF members been late in realizing the magnitude of the problem? Or is this a question of, as Ms. Lagarde suggested, allowing democracies, specifically parliaments and legislative branches, to do their jobs? And as we all know, that can take some time. I think that the IMF has been really very slow to recognize the problem. You know, if we think about Greece, uh, Greece, their first program was May 2010. The Greek economy right now is in virtual freefall. They're not performing on the budget. They're not performing on the structural reform. For them not to recognize uh, that this is beyond salvation, uh, you know, just uh, stretches uh, credulity. Uh, sir, with all politics being local then, how do you consolidate disparate points of view and reach a consensus that leads to an easing of the global financial crisis? Uh, well, that's a problem. You know, if you really do have to orchestrate uh, different points of view, and I think that what you've also got is you've got huge political constraints. You know, if you just think about Europe, uh, you had earlier on the show Mr. Geithner saying that he's hopeful that they're going to put in place, the Europeans are going to put in place a bigger financial fund to help tide them over. But they're huge political constraints, not only in Germany, but in Finland, in Austria, in Netherlands, uh, to going down that route. You know, and it'll take them uh, many months to figure something out, whereas what we're seeing is that the market is moving in real time and not giving them the luxury of a few months to get their ducks lined up. Uh, Mr. Lockman, if I might ask you in our last minute, let's talk specifically about, the, uh, about what's going on in Greece. Will Greece default? Will Greece leave the euro? Uh, I think that it's inevitable that Greece both defaults and leaves the euro. I think that all that we're talking about is time. I think that what we've got in Greece is the clearest of signs of austerity fatigue. Uh, there's no way that the Papandreou government is going to survive the kind of drastic cuts in the public sector and dealing with the pension problem and all the rest sure. in a country where so many public workers are 
the supporters of the Papandreou government. So I don't see uh, this going on for more than a few months at best. Okay, sir, then if I might ask you quickly, if that does in fact come to pass, Greece defaults and it leaves the euro, what about the spread of contagion? What does that mean for the surrounding countries in the eurozone? Well, I think that we've already got very clear signs of contagion. Now what we've got in play is not only uh, Greece, Ireland, Portugal, but we've got Spain, Italy and France. So we're at the early stages of a contagion. Yeah. If Greece does have a hard default, what we'll see is we'll see that contagion intensifying and we'll see a real banking crisis uh, in the heart of Europe. Den Desmond Lockman, former deputy director at the IMF, now a resident fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, joining us from Washington. Mr. Lockman, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. My pleasure.